All right, welcome back everybody. So my name is Luis Cervantes. I'm currently a junior at Portland State University, majoring in computer science. But enough about me, let's get into this live demo. All right, so we're gonna be doing movements. So for this, I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to steer. Like as you guys know, movement is to steer, to be actually be able to maneuver around the course, not, not in comparison to motor, we're just moving one motor. So in this one, I'm just gonna be showing you guys how, how it could be done, how it works and everything. So well for this for this challenge we're just gonna be doing a square just to kind of show you guys like how to make obviously you know like if using other tools I could make this way better and way more efficient just really good but however just for this course we're just gonna use movements all the movement functions we're just gonna use the ones they provide and that's it all right all right so don't forget as well as when we connect a robot it shows you all of the values for the degrees the sensors and everything that you have hooked up to the robot as well all right. So let's get started. So remember, first we have to define what, what motors we want to. So I have A and C, and then we're gonna move on to, we wanna make it go forward. We're gonna go forward for two seconds. And then, okay. And then what do we wanna do after it goes straight? We want it to turn, right? So that's what we're gonna use the move. So this one is just moving forward. However, now we wanna steer. We're gonna make it go to the left. However, and now we're only gonna make it rotate for one second. So it's just gonna do, mm, and then that's it, okay? So after we do that, we wanna be like, okay, that's it. So now, so now it's like, okay. So I made it go straight, and then I make it turn to the left. However, this is gonna go at 100% speed, and I don't want that. It's gonna way, be way too fast. So we're gonna define the speed. We're gonna make it go at 30, just to slow it down, you know, so it's not too fast, not too slow, just so, you know, so we could get better, better grip of it. So now that we have that, we want to make it go straight, uh, straight again. Now for two seconds as well. And now, so now the robot, when it's going to go straight, turn, and then it's going to go straight, and then we want it to turn again to the left, right? So we're going to grab it again, and we're going to make it turn to the left. Okay, so now that we have that, and as well only for one second. If we, if we, if we need more time, we'll, we'll implement more time. But for right now, let's go with one second. So after it goes straight, it turns, goes straight, it turns. We want it to go straight again, right? So we're going to move straight again. So we're going to go forward um, for two seconds. And then after that, so it's gonna go straight, turn, straight, turn, straight. It wants to turn again to the left. So we're gonna move, we're gonna go to move straight to the left. And then we want it to go for one second. And then we're gonna see, and then we're gonna make it go straight. Obviously, as I mentioned, there's obviously way, way easier ways that I could have done this, but this is just using using the basic tools just to demonstrate to you guys how it could be done. All right, so I'm gonna upload it and then I'm gonna move on to the other camera. All righty, so let's let's move on. All right, so I'm gonna put it on the floor, and then you're gonna be able to see it. I'm gonna go straight. Turn, it goes. Okay, so as you guys saw, clearly it did it. However, obviously we need more time on, on the seconds for turns. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so just to make it easier, I'm gonna implement some variables in here. So I'm gonna go, we're gonna make a variable. We're gonna we're gonna call it this one counter. So we're gonna set it to two. Set counter to two, and then we're gonna use counter, and then we're just gonna implement to wherever we see seconds. So to the left, and then move to seconds. All right. So as you guys see right here, I'm implementing them just to make it way easier for us. And so that it could the program could be way smoother instead of having to go back and change every individual value, I could just go and change it here. All right. So we're gonna start it all over. Uh, let me get the robot. Let me upload the program. 
Alrighty. Alright. So, I'm gonna put it on the floor. I'm gonna switch cameras. Hopefully you guys can see it. Right here. Right here. And we're gonna start it. Now it's too much time. So you guys can see. So as you guys can see, it's clearly, it's clearly, it's doing it. It's just too much time, you know? Like, if I really want to mess around with it, I could go and change it to like 1.5. And then we could do it again. So just right now, I'm going to run it one more time. And then right there and then we're gonna change it up and then we're gonna see how it affects with using other commands but overall it's the general gist it's all pretty much the same so we're gonna we're gonna try it out right now so I'm gonna switch it I'm gonna upload the program I'm gonna upload the program and then and then switch cameras So I'm gonna start it. So as you guys saw, it, it did it. However, you know, not not very good because you know this is kind of the thing with this with these robots is that you kind of need to like do a lot of tweaking and kind of like I'm doing it on carpet, so you know it's not it's not really the best scenario. So in that sense, like it's kind of difficult, but you guys get the general gist. So obviously at the end, if we want to do like to stop m moving, it would just stop the movement. And then, but remember, for everything, you always need to define what motors you're using. Remember how here I just defined what motors I was using and then just called it a day. And that's all you really need to do. And then you could just move straight and rotations go based on whatever speed. So, for example, if I wanted to just have done this for right here, instead of having to set the speed on the top, I could have just set that set it right there. However, for right now, we're not going to do that because. We don't really need to keep defining, redefining every single time. So keep in mind, once you define it once, it defines for the whole program, the rest of the program. So keep that in mind. As well, like to start moving at 50-50, this is just to be able to control like how fast you want every each individual motor to go. I don't really see much use to it in the sense that like when you're doing turns or when you go straight, you kind of don't want different speeds. But there might be scenarios where you do want to do that. So that could be very useful. And as well, like to start moving, and then all of this, we kind of already implemented this. So that's pretty much all for movements. Is all of these is just kind of like small little demos, just to demonstrate you guys how it works, how the structure of the program works. As well, like right here, I implemented some variables just to make it easier for myself to demonstrate to you guys instead of having to go over and switch all of them. So as you guys can see, like we could implement all of these tools, really, really useful tools, you know. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this. You guys watched it and learned something cool. Like, you know, like obviously it didn't do a perfect square, but it got pretty close to it. You know, obviously we can mess around with it and get it perfection. But just for demo and purpose and time, we're just going to leave it like that. And just, you know, you guys saw it. You guys saw how it works. And just call it a day like that. So thank you for watching. And I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video.